Alright guys, here's part two of my locomotive fleet. Um, we're going to start off here with my Bachman Spectrum F40PH. Uh, it's an Amtrak Phase 4, it's got DCC flashing strobes. Then I got a um, SG40-2 here, painted in a custom deal kind of thing. I put mirrors on it, made them out of cardboard, painted them silver, just a spirit model. Lightly weathered, got it for $15. It's powered, old Athens blue box. Um, and then uh, Walther's train line GP9, I got it for like $7. So, yeah, eh, it's an alright engine. Then the chassis system, a GE, I'm not exactly sure what. Wait, it's a U23B, yeah. And uh, I got that one for about $15. And we'll go over here to the layout. This is my new layout. I will do a video of it soon. I've been getting a lot of requests for it. And you know who you are that's been asking me to do a review of it. So, <laughs> um, this is my Bachman uh, Spectrum J Class. Nice locomotive. The only thing is, drawbar broke. I replaced it with a piece of wire and fixed it. But if you take a listen. I put sound in it. It's not the correct whistle, but it's it's for it sounds more like uh, Norfolk and Western Hooter whistle, and it's not prototypical for this engine. But I got the I got the sound decoder for like twenty dollars, so that's why I just put it in there. And then of course it was a set it came with the passenger cars, so I got a whole train there, Norfolk and Western. So that Cavalier set is excuse me what it is. And then over here. I have a Pro 2000, a couple of Pro 2000 Jeeps. I got one in Baltimore, and Ohio, and one in Nickel Plate. These are the old lifelike ones. Um, they got good detail on them. Windshield wipers and the doors open on them, both the front and the rear ones. And they got sliding sunshades. Pick these up for about five dollars a piece. Um, the only thing is, I replaced the gears in him. But he still needs his gears replaced. Uh, there's small manufacturing errors, but it's not too much of a deal. And then, you look down here. Hard to see him. But it is a Proto Heritage um, uh, 2882. Has no road name, but it's got sound. The same decoder that's in the J-Class. It's a tsunami decoder for an articulated locomotive. Got the same whistle and everything. But I got it for $50. Um, good detail. I'll get a video of that. Um, down here, hard to see again. I got a Bachman Spectrum a DD40AX, I want to say. And I got this engine for about $25. Just got to do some repairs to it. It's got a flashing strobe and everything on the top. Over here. And then now we're starting to get into the really neat stuff. I got a Bachman uh, Conrail uh, um, B23-7 and uh, got it at a train show. I bought this one and another one which is over there on the layout. I bought that one which is number 1991 and this one number 2001. I got them both I got them both for a uh, well, I think it was yeah both for thirty dollars. I put DCC in them and I put LED headlights in and took the old light board out. Of course, put, put knuck, uh, excuse me, put knuckle cuff, knuckle couplers on them. <laughs> Sorry about that. And uh, so they run really nice, actually. And I greased them up, and they're actually really good runners. So then I got a uh, blue box uh, CSX Dash Nine dummy. I did a bit of weathering to myself. That weathering is custom done by me. It's not the best, but it was my first weathering attempt. So. Don't make fun of it. <laughs> um, then I got. I know. Uh, you're, then I like this one, Austin. Um, <laughs> this is my uh, seaboard system SG45-2 with MRC sound. Got to send it in and get the decoder replaced because the decoder is bad in it. But nice engine. Get some nice close-up detail there. Oh, I really like this engine real nice. So, um, <laughs> that's that. 
Uh, I have my DTNA Jeep here. Got this for under $5. It's got the extended, uh, not Michigan, but the extended cab windows. I have them blue box. That's a nice engine. Got to get DCC for it. And as I invite you to the underside of my layout, I will show you. I got my, this is custom by the way, not by me. I got this for about $10. It's a DTNI SD30, SD38. Yeah, uh, custom painted. It's got working beacon. It's got uh, the nose mounted gong bell. And the other exhaust sticks in there, I just gotta go look back on. But it is custom, and it has an Atherin motor in it. Hard to get open right now. But I wanna put DCC in it, and it's a project that was started but never completed, and I would like to finish it. So that's a really neat engine. Um, put that aside. And here we have, by the way, all this stuff I got from a guy that was selling a bunch of model trains, really cheap. It's a grain trunk uh, shell, but it was actually a locomotive, and I have the frame right here, so it needs a new drive shaft piece. And if any of you have that piece that goes right there, like that one there, let me know, because I, I, I'm, I've been looking for one, and I need one. So if anyone has one available, just let me know if you have a drive shaft piece. And there's my cat. Um, but, uh, so yeah... And I got that for under ten dollars. Um, I got Norfolk Southern Trainline GP9. I got that for about eight dollars. I got this undecorated SD9 here. Again, under five dollars. It's a dummy. And I got a SD40-2 dummy frame. I have, that's another dummy, a Baltimore, Ohio, um, this is a Jeep 35, Baltimore, Ohio dummy, Atherin Blue Box, um, then I have, this is, a, this is a project I'm working on putting together, it's a DT&I, I want to say Jeep 40, but I, I'm not exactly sure. I don't don't hold me accountable for what I say about these locomotive types, but that's a project I'm working on, putting it together. It's a dummy engine to go with my other DTI. Um, this here. I know it's just a shell in here, so I'm not. It's just a shell in there. I'm not even gonna bother opening it. I can't get it open. And this here is a custom grain trunk. Uh, SD4-2 X Union Pacific. That one runs. Real nice locomotive. Got that for under ten dollars. Um, and this is going to be a project of mine. It's a GP40, and I'm gonna convert it into a high hood um, or fucking Western unit. Um, I also have an undecorated GP60, no GP50. And I'm on custom paint, and of course, it's Leather Pacific Black Widow GP9. So, right there, all these engines, it's going to look like a mess, but all those engines, I got all that for under $50. So, well, about $60, $70. So, really good deal, and uh, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Metro 40 ph in Austin. So, um... It goes out to you guys. You guys requested it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you around.